Hey, ATA Nation, it's your girl, Anna, and I'm back with another video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Remember to turn your post notification bell on. Now, this is not my typical video, but it's a very educational one. I'm going to be telling you what has happened to me here and how I got here. If you'd like to know more or you're not clear on what I'm saying, you can ask your relevant questions and I'll do a part two on this. Stay tuned. Now, this condition is called angioedemia. This is a painful swelling under the skin triggered by any allergy to animal dunder, pollen, drugs, venom, food, or medication. However, in my case, I have hereditary angioedemia, and this is a rare genetic disorder that can be caused by all of the following that I said before. Now, it may affect your face, throat, abdomen, hands, genitals, or feet. It is important to know that once the attack affects your throat or your mouth, that can become potentially life-threatening and you are at a risk of suffocation. And once that happens, you need to seek emergency, the emergency room, because... I was in that situation and I had to be scoped. I ended up in the IUC, intensive care, and it was no fun. In most time when you have hereditary angioedemia, it means that you are typically missing a very important protein called C11NH. And that's a type of protein that is found in the blood. So you can have a, a different reaction from a lot of things. So you can look that up or I can do an updated video to, you know, tell you what's really up. So see, these are some pictures of where I end up and what had happened to me. So when you have hereditary angioedemia, you have to eat good. Meaning you can't just eat out as you'd like. You can't just go about eating every and anything because sometimes you can be allergic to not the food, but the seasoning that is in the food. So eating out should be less <clears throat> and you need to know what it is that you're putting in your food because you can have a one-time reaction. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just trying, to, I'm looking. Hmm? God, I feel like the vein disappeared because I'm afraid. No, I know, but I'm looking. I feel something here. I don't get it. Don't worry. It, you're fine. not the only one. When I'm home, when I'm in Jamaica, it, it takes a while to... No, 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 I know. Some people use have a part together. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to be very hard to get it. The uh, let me see. Let me think. Let me fail. You know, it takes a while for doing it. I know, like, uh, she has one here. It's just that is it's... Is one there? Where deep? It feels deep. I'm uh, trying to find the... The one not that deep. When you go back home, do a little tattoo right there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 
No, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> she like no. So mm -mm. next time. Next I'm time. afraid of pain. Why would I get a tattoo? So next time you come to me, I remember. <laughs> well, I'm going to always find you to find it then. <laughs> she like, huh? No. A tattoo? No, no, no. I'm afraid of needle. You want me to do a tattoo? Yeah. Here. Here. She like, huh? She don't want that for sure. She's not the type oh, who wants those things. So I was admitted in the hospital for a very long time and every six to eight hours they had to do a check through my nose or through my throat to see what is wrong. This is where they insert a camera and here you're going to have a video of what it is and what they expect me to do while doing that. Good, nice and easy. Definitely looks a lot better. I think you may just maybe you're ignoring that your epiglottis is a little bit. Good, can you just say e? One more time. E. Nice and easy for me. Swallow one more time. One more. Okay. Okay. All right, coming up. So, so Anita, baby, I appreciate you. You have been there from day one. No matter who we spot, me sick, me sick, Jamaica, she did it, me sick, a foreign, she did it. I appreciate you, baby girl. Thank you very, very much. I want to give me that pants there. Huh? I want to give me that pants there. Which pants? You get together for me right here. Get that for me. So while in the hospital, there's a series of tests and medication that I have to get that the nurses has to administer. So there are a few things that you might not know that you're allergic to. And one, the most important one, I would say, is condoms. If you're it's allergic to latex, it, you can have redness, itching, swollen grind areas, and uh, not know that that's a reaction from the latest and it, you can miss it for like an infection or a uh, sexual transmitted disease so you need to know your body secondly you can have a reaction to cleaning agents like bleach soap powder liquid soap you name it um, as I said before, food is one of the most common um, reaction that you think you would get. You can have a reaction from pollen. You can have a reaction from just your blood type, as I said before. So you need to know what you're all about and what your body is all about. But in all honesty, this is a very life-threatening thing. So once you know that you have angioedemia or hereditary angioedemia, you need to ensure that you have your EpiPen and you're taking your allergy medication. You get your regular skin check and you take care of what is wrong with you and ensure that anyone around you knows of your illness because with a snap of a finger, you can be gone. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video and it was educational and meaningful. If you do have any questions, leave them down below. Goodbye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Remember to turn your post notification yeah, on. It's one of the first time it has come out and so clean. Just a little tiny bit. I mean, the trick is just to put pressure on it. <laughs> And the other times that it came pouring out, where did they put it? Mm -hmm. Was it here? Around here? Or yeah. <laughs> that was probably the artery. Oh. The vein shouldn't be bleeding profusely.